Hello, so I just wanted to go through just a few things on editing this because I know it can be a little overwhelming at first. So when you download the PDF and you click on the link, it'll take you to your template. You'll click use template and it'll open up looking like this. Now you can edit anything. So if you don't like these words, that's fine. You can actually double click and you can write something new like welcome there you go something like that you can edit any any part of these you can even change fonts you can do any kind of font you want um especially colors so i usually zoom in just a little bit just so that i can see what i'm you know clicking on but if i want to change that little line i would click on it and change the color can change it to orange if I want to. All right, so that's changing colors, changing some fonts. And then if you keep scrolling, you'll see pictures like this. And this is just for you to drag and drop your own pictures of your Airbnb. So when you take a picture, you'll upload them here and you can just drag them and drop them into this area. And then they'll upload into here and you can just drag and drop them. So for me, um, say you don't have any pictures per se, and that's fine. I, I highly recommend definitely taking pictures of your place, but you can go here and you can search for some. And just when you get the picture, you just drag and you drop it in. And that is it. You don't have to do anything else. So that's how to fill in these. And they're all through the whole packet. Um, and you don't have to do it all of them. You can just do some of them. It, it's up to you. You personalize it the way you want to. You don't have to even use all of the pages. I just put so many so that you have options to, you know, think about certain things like just different activities and those kinds of things. So anyway, that's how you fill in these. And for the table of contents, you don't have to have this page. I just added it so it's easy to, you know, copy and paste. But you just come in here, you change the page number, these I promise you the page numbers do not line up. So you'll come in here and just change these. If you want to add more, um, you just drag, you copy, and then you paste. And then it, you just kind of line it up like you want to. And there you go. It's all done. And you do this as many as you need. Um, like I said, you don't have to use this. I just provided it just if you wanted to. Then I have a little welcome note. All of the blurbs, um, again, you don't have to use these words. You can change it to make it more personalized that fits you. Obviously change the name because um, make it personal to you. You can add little elements to this. So if you wanted to do like, a, um, I don't know, a flower at the bottom down here, you can just go to elements, type it in. And I usually do graphics and say, I really wanted, I don't know, this one. You just make it how you want it. You can put it right down here. And also with these, you can make the transparency different. So if you didn't want it to be so bright, you can make it a little less bright, you know, that kind of thing. So you can add elements, you can change fonts, you can change the positioning of things. Say you want this more up here or down here, you can do that however you want it. You can also delete things. So if you just click it, you can just click delete. Any Anything you possibly want, you can do. Again, here's another photo. I would suggest putting it of you. And then filling in the blanks here, the correct phone number. If you wanna add maybe an email address, you can do that. You just copy and paste, kind of measure them up, move them to the center. You can rename this email and then place your email there. So there's so, so much flexibility with it. You can do anything you want. These are just guides. So these are just guides for you to utilize. And of course, just make sure you go in and personalize everything. Um, so like this one has I've added the pictures in so you can just kind of see what it looks like. But again, these will not be there on the day that you get the template because you have to add all of this stuff in. Again, like the home address, make sure you add that in. A little review or overview of the, the home so they know kind of what to expect. 
this is just to welcome them, you know, get them familiarized with your process. All right. And so as you go through all of this, you'll just see just different pages. And what I have seen people do is, especially for something like the Wi-Fi, they would print this out and put it in a little frame just so it's always there. You don't have to always have it in like this packet. You can keep it there or you can put it in the house. It's completely up to you. These are just guidelines or guides for you. Um, I added this event calendar. Um, just if in your area there's big events going on, like from where we are, there's a lot of uh, sports events. So I'd add them to the calendar so you know they know what's kind of going on in the area. If they want to join in, they can. Um, so that's there for you. I think the easiest way to do it would be to kind of print this out and then adjust it each month. Um, but completely up to you. Edit it the way you want to edit it. I added some pet rules in here, just generic things, just, you know, ideas. Same with children, emergency information. Like I said, you can go in, change anything you want, make it to your liking, but this is just a starter. And other than that, when you're done, you go up to share, download, It'll be a PDF and you click what pages you want. If you want to do them all, you want to print them all, you just click all of them. If there's say you don't want, you like the first cover page, but you don't like the second one. So you just unclick it and it won't print it. And then you'll click done and then download. And then it'll let you know when it's done downloading and then you just print it and you're all done. And you can always come back and edit it for different Airbnbs or Verbos or, or rental properties, um, you know, make it make it how you want to make it. But other than that, that's it. If you have any questions, of course, please let me know. And I hope you enjoy it. One more thing I wanted to add. So there's a lot of these throughout the, the bonus pages. Um, there's one in this welcome packet. So to edit that picture, it's so like this isn't dragging and dropping. So what's the problem is the element is on top of it. So the way to do that, you'll click on the element position, send it backwards. And now how you see the, the photos up there. So then you'll go back, click whatever photo you want, drag and drop, click position to the front. And there you go. Now it's back to where it needs to be. So you'll have to do that for all of them just because of that element being on top. But other than that, um, that was just one thing I wanted to point out because I feel like that might be a little confusing at first. Um, so again, let me know if you have any questions.